For this example, we're given the following triangle and we've been asked to calculate the unknown angle x. The first thing we should do with all trigonometry problems is to label the sides. You should recall that the length opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse. The one opposite the angle that we know or the unknown angle we're trying to find is the opposite and the one next to that is the adjacent. We're going to have to use one of our trig ratios and you should recall Sokotoa as a way of remembering the trig ratios. Let's have a look at what we have here. We have the opposite which is 12 we have the adjacent, which is 14, and we're looking for our angle. That's our unknown x. So we look at our three trig ratios. Remember the sa tells us that sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse. The car tells us that cos theta is the adjacent over the hypotenuse and the TOA tells us that tan theta is opposite over adjacent. Now we have the opposite, we have the adjacent and we're looking for the angle. That tells us that we're going to be using tan. So we can say that tan theta, which is our tan x, is equal to opposite over adjacent, which is 12 over 14. Now, when we're trying to find the angle, we have to use the inverse trig function. So we know that tan x is equal to 12 over 14. So we can say x is inverse tan, which we write as tan to the minus 1 of 12 over 14. Now we're going to have to use our calculator to work this value out. So we look for the tan button and you notice above it is tan to the minus one in yellow. Your calculator might be slightly different. To get the yellow, you press shift and then the button. You see it now says tan to the minus one. We now type in our fraction, 12, press down, 14, and then press across and close the bracket. We then press equals and we find our angle, 40.6. So we can see that x is equal to 40.6 degrees. I have therefore used trigonometry to find the missing angle. In this case, it was 40.6 degrees.